Yo, what is up guys? Zorin here with another, well, it's not a Pokemon BGC battle video, but it is discussing something about BGC. Uh, this video is basically just trying to help out more the new players that are going to be coming into BGC Regulation Age. And honestly, if you're a new player, this is probably the perfect regulation to be coming into because there is so much variety, so much stuff you can do into this in this uh, meta that you... Honestly, we'll have a lot of fun playing into this regulation if you're new. But basically, this video is just the top five combos that you probably should worry about in this regulation. Because once rank ladder starts, these are probably the things you're going to be facing up a lot. So I'm just trying to help you guys kind of prepare in a way by just mentioning them and maybe consider talking about their counters as well. Because they, they can't be countered. It's just much more difficult than other combos that you might run into so we're gonna start off with um beat up arch ape which i ended up putting in a and it's I, I ended up putting annihilate mouse ape a mouse ape mouse hold together next to our chaladon and pelipper because personally for me i think these four are going to be really really nasty together but mouse ape is pretty much known for a while now it's like the whole beat up into annihilate and then Annihilate gets the Rage Fist stacks thanks to, um, if you guys don't know what Rage Fist does, you get plus 50 power for each time the user was hit, and it's max 6 hits. So you get, what, 300 power? Jesus, that's a lot. That's 350 base power on Rage Fist, which is uh, crazy. But it's, it's a very powerful move, that's why you have mouse, mouse holds here. You start, you try to lead Mouse Ape, and then you just use Beat Up. Since you have 4 teammates in your, in your uh, team, you hit, you hit your, I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's four because they, they include themselves. And then you end up getting basically, what is it? 200, 250 base power right off the bat. So it's, 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 it's a pretty scary combo and it doesn't require that much setting up. So that's why it's very, very good. So you're going to be seeing these two a lot, but with the introduction of Archaladon in the Blueberry DLC, now we have Archaladon here that can also abuse the speed up strategy. So you can have... In case you don't you don't want to bring Annihilate, maybe maybe Annihilate just, just doesn't look good into the into the, into the matchup, or maybe both of them look good. You can bring a, a Chaladon here now and do the exact same thing because thanks to stamina, you get that this Pokemon's defense is raised by one such after it's damaged by a move. Meaning Mouse Hood could come in, beat up, and hit a Chaladon four times for plus four defense. Not only that, it gets access to body press, which if you don't know what that does, it uses the defense that instead of the attack so because you're at plus four defense you're gonna be hitting really hard with this body press and that's why i kind of combine these two combos together because mouse ape was is a combo that everybody kind of like uses and it's a very powerful combo but then our child and pelipper here is another combo that you would see so i combine them both because mouse hold, mouse hold can actually work really well with with our child so combo with pelipper and our child though is that it's, it's a really simple combo. It's just because Pelipper puts up the, the Tailwind. I mean, the, the the weather, thanks to Drizzle. And then our Chaladon here will be able to just Electro Shot. If you don't know what th what this thing does, is that if um, if Electro Shot is being used in the rain, then there is no charge time for this move. Because it, usually this move actually has a two-turn charge, where the first turn you charge up and you raise up your special attack by one, and then in uh, the second turn, that's when you use it, similar to Meteor Beam. So you can use like a Power Herb instead if you want. But because it doesn't require any charge in the rain, that's why you use Pelipper with a Shadowdown. And they cover themselves really, really nicely as well. So it's a really good combo as well right now. So once you get into the ladder, you're going to be seeing this combo probably a lot if they're running meta Metamons. So Pelipper is really good here with the White Guard as well, keeping keeping your team safe. And also gives you access to Tailwind as well, which is why Pelipper is pretty much really just really strong with our Chaladon. But yeah, Annihilate, Mouse Ape, Pelipper, Mouse, Mouse Ape, I keep saying Mouse Ape, that's how bad the combo is stuck into my head. Mouse Hold or Chaladon, Pelipper is going to be a really, really strong combo into this game. I'm not going to be talking about like teammates that you can use with this combo because this is just mainly about just talking about the combos that you will find in Regulation H Ladder once you start climbing. And you should just be able to like think about um, what when you're team building, you want to think about these matchups 
because that's that's um it's gonna otherwise it's gonna be really hard, especially your Shadow Dawn. Shadow is probably going to be the toughest thing to fight in this in this meta game. So ways to counter our Chaladon, you can haze it, you can have eight uh haze, so in case you need to get rid of its defense defense boost. Uh having some sort of weather control can help because like I said, a Chaladon thrives in the rain because it can not only is it making fire moves less powerful on a Chaladon since it's neutral. But it's, it's going to be using Electroshot a lot to try to ramp up. And then it's going to just be hitting you with Draco Meteors, Flash Cannons, and all that stuff. So having a sort, some sort of weather control to kind of neuter it so it can't ramp up as fast is really good. Especially if you can catch it on the Electroshot and you can switch in a weather. Then that gives you a free turn to kind of like bring something in that can hurt it. Like a fighting move or a ground move, something like that. And since they're charging up, since you messed up their weather... They can't switch out, they can't Terra, so it's basically a free hit if you can, if you can manage it. So that's that's something that you can do to, to stop our Chaladon here. Same thing with Annihilate, Haze is very, very strong into Annihilate because you can um, you can stop it from getting Defiant boost, Bulk Up boost, but also just getting rid of Mousel as fast as possible, faking it, out, faking it out, stuff like that. Usually you're going to be having to worry about, the one thing that you need to worry about though is that they'll most likely be running Terra Ghost. So keep that in mind when you're trying to fake this out. So just be, tr just try to get rid of it as fast as possible if you can, because if this thing goes off, then yeah, you're going to have a hard time getting ape off the field. So really, the only way to really get rid of mousehold ape is to just delete mouse mousehold as fast as possible. Because honestly, once if annihilate doesn't get the beat up, uh, the rage fist stacks onto it, then the Annihilate can honestly be ignored and just take out his teammates one by one until Annihilate is left. It's it's a pretty simple strategy. Just just take out his teammates. That's pretty much how Ape works. Is <laughs> you just want to take out his teammates before he can actually ramp up. So that's that's basically the plan here with Household Ape and our child on Pelipper. Now the second combo that you're going to be seeing a lot is Goldengo Murkrow. Now this is going to be a very very tough um, matchup as well. I would think and it's because if you guys don't know what the combo is here is that let me let me change this real quick so you guys kind of just to be sure so you guys get a more general idea is Murkrow gets prankster this is why people use Murkrow instead of Honshro is because Honshro doesn't get it but Murkrow does so usually you just slap a focus hatch or an Evilite you can use a, a focus hatch instead if you want but you can also use a Evilite and they're just gonna be running things like foul play, tailwind, haze, quash uh, sunny day it's, it's a very supportive mon it's a great mon in this in this format but the reason it's so good with Goldengo is because basically the first turn what they're planning to do is Goldengo here has choice facts and it has steel terror right and it's, it's got a very powerful base 120 aoe move uh, well spread move that will lower Goldengo's special attack by one every time he uses it so that's the downside of this move right but uh, that, that's where Murko comes in. So basically Murko will set up Tailwind turn 1 while Goldengo does the whole thing. This not only gives Goldengo uh, speed control if they don't go for Tailwind. Uh, but you're ba yeah, basically you're going to guarantee you're going first if they don't go for Tailwind. Which we'll be getting to the counters that Roku after that. But yeah, basically the whole idea is just make it rain, choice back, steal Terra. And you're, it's just going to delete the enemy side. That's the whole plan with Goldengo here. Now, once that happens, you lower your special attack to by one, but then Murkrow comes in and just uses Haze next turn. Since Murkrow has Prankster, Haze will always go first before Godenko ever moves. So you will reset that special that minus special attack drop, and Godenko will start hitting neut for neutral damage again. So that's kind of the whole thing. Murkrow will just keep using Haze, Godenko will just keep using Make It Rain, and it's a very, very simple, very, very aggro heavy combo. So I really, really would recommend if you see a Merkel Godengo, just be careful for this strategy. Make sure you have some sort of speed control, which is where the counters come in. Make sure to have speed control or have a way to resist it. Assault Vest, having an Assault Vest Mon helps a lot. Having a Fire Mon, Incineroar, or just Rillaboom Terraing is really, really strong as well. Having some sort of um, fire... Uh, fire or ground move would be really really good here just make sure goldengo does not go off if you can predict the goldengo steel terra then you could probably fake it out but it's much 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 more risky so just make sure to just try to get 
Tailwind. I mean, just try to get Speed Control. And if not, there also is also the other way of just getting White Guard. If you have a Mon with White Guard, then this strategy doesn't work as well. Because, like I said, it's a spread move, and White Guard pretty much stops spread moves. So, White Guard is yet another way to stop Goldengo. And it's honestly the best way, because it won't be able to do anything, because it's locked into in to make it rain and it forces it to switch out so white guard definitely probably its best way to stop this Goldengo combo so keep a white guard mon on your team at all times because there are other spread moves and we'll get to that in the end of the video so that's that's it for Goldengo and Murkrow now we've got the one that I, I really really don't want to face and you're going to be seeing me talk about Haze a lot because Haze is actually the, the biggest counter to a lot of these things so Tondozo Tatsugiri. If you don't know what Tondozo Tatsugiri does, it, Tatsugiri goes into the Dondozo, but now Dondozo can't switch, but Dondozo gets plus two in everything. It's an Omni boost. It gets plus two to everything. But Tatsugiri is basically out of the play, and Dondozo is stuck inside. So it's a very, very tough mod to crack because it also gets access to Unaware. If you don't know what Unaware does, it just, it just ignores any stat boost that changes that the enemy has so if they have like plus six attack Dodozo doesn't care it it ignores it and it acts like if, if it's neutral so that's what it does it it doesn't mean that you ignore theirs like their defense boost or or if you lower Dundozo's defenses then they do get lowered so that's one thing to keep in mind which is why Haze is very very good into Dodozo because you can Haze it and then now it's just, I mean, look at these base stats, right? These base stats are kind of mid. Like, they're like defense is good, attack is good, HP is really, really good. But, like, if you hit it from a special defense, look at this speed, 35 speed. That's why you have, like, 252. This reaches out, like, because you're getting plus 2 speed, you're, you're going to be, like, at 160, like 174 speed. So it gets pretty fast then if you go max speed, and it can, it can afford it because you're getting, like, you're getting plus two defense, plus two special defense, so we can't afford it. This basically you just look at everything at double its value besides HP, because HP doesn't have a, a stage boosting increase. Thank God. But yeah, everything else would go to plus two. So just look at everything here at plus two, right? It's like 300. It, it's basically got 304 attack. <laughs> like, what is it? Two, two, 270 defense. One, like it, it's very bulky with the the, the, the Omni boost, right? And that's why it's a very, very annoying mod to deal with. Because they'll run like leftovers. Uh, they'll have like a, a Dragon Terror is probably going to be one of its biggest things. Maybe Grass Terror just so it doesn't get put to sleep. But yeah, it's going to, it's going to, it's it's a very, very like stressful combo in my opinion to have to deal with. But there's combos with this that it's not like, there's there's combos with Dundozos that's very, very annoying. And I'm about to talk about that right now too, before we get into more counters. Glimora is very, very strong with with the Dozo because it gets access to not only Toxic Divers, which puts up spikes for the on the enemy side, but it also gets um, Mortal Spin, right? It gets Mortal Spin. So Glimora also gets access now to a very powerful rock move, and since it's rock, it gets stabbed. So Power Herb Meteor Beam is something you always see on this thing. But some things that you might see on, I, I think it's this one, yeah. Something you might see sometimes on this thing is Explosion. And the reason why is because what you will do is instead of Focus Ash, you will run Toxic Orb and then you'll run an Endure. And what happens here is you want Glamora to explode, Tatsugiro will get put down to 1 HP and then you switch into Dozo since Glamora is now down. It forces, you, it, it lets you, uh, it allows you to freely swap into the Dozo without getting any damage on it. And then Tatsugiro will go down into Dozo's mouth. Uh, the next turn once the poison activates and then what they'll do is they'll bring this dude in Flamigo and if you don't know what Flamigo does Flamigo will on switch in <laughs> copy all the stats on the Dodozo so since the Dodozo gets plus two and everything so does Flamigo and now you have two plus two um, well we'll call it Omni boost now you have two Omni boosted mons on the field and yeah, this, this this requires you to lose two of your mons, but <laughs> these two can easily solo teams by itself. And they'll usually run like Focus Ash or or something. They'll, they'll run something, they'll run something. I, I, I actually don't know what they would run. I usually run Focus Ash on this thing, but it could run it could run a lot of stuff. It could run like Life Orb, especially because you're going to be using Brave Bird as your like, move, right? 
to deal damage. So Life Orb is probably better here. But yeah, that's the combo here. So if you ever see Todozo, Flamigo, Glimora, and Tatsukiri, expect the combo. Just expect the combo. The way to deal with this, Haze. That's, that's it. That's all I'm going to say. Haze. Specifically this combo. If you have Haze and they do this combo and they don't get rid of your Haze unit, they're not going to get the the boost on the thing and they're just losing two months for free they basically do the job for you they take two months out for free and now you only have to deal with plus zero boosted don dozo and flamigo and it's fantastic so haze is really good into this but if you don't end up seeing flamigo but you, you'll probably see glamora though you'll probably see glamora just because another way to use glamora is the fact that mortal spin like i was talking about which i, I kind of like skipped over but mortal spin it poisons the, the the other side of the field. Um, it always poisons both sides. And once the Moro goes down, you just bring the Dozo and just start stalling. You have like your rest. It's very, very annoying. If you see Glamora, you're probably going to be seeing like a stall. A stall Dozo with leftovers, rest, you know, stuff like that. Grass so it can be put to sleep by the, by the other dudes. Maybe Sleep Talk just to not have to worry about it. Sleep Talk can be instead put in here. And that's what I'll do. I'll just keep resting, sleep talk, order up, wave crash. It might even run the the defense one version of, of Tatsugiri. So that way you just make yourself even bulky. Maybe I'll get amnesia, you know, stuff like that. And then it'll just I'll just let you die to poison through mortal spin or the toxic diverse. So that's very, very annoying. So that's that's something to think about. Now if you don't run into any of this, the counters to the dozo is much more open though, in my opinion. The Dozo's best way is like Haze, obviously, to get rid of the, the boost. Will-O-Wisp is also a very, very strong one because if you can burn it, then, you know, he's just kind of sitting there, kind of not doing much. You're kind of just happy. But yeah, Will-O-Wisp is really, really good. Obviously, bringing something that's weak to it, something that can absorb the wave crashes, something that's immune to, like, wave crash and order up. Maybe a water, maybe a storm drain. Or the rub mod, I don't know, something something that makes it so the Dozo can't do anything. But Willow with Haze is probably the best ways to deal with it. And then just bring things that are weak to Dozo. Like, bring things that the Dozo is weak to, typing wise, like grass. And then if you see Terras, then just plan according to that. But yeah, if you see this, this combo specifically though, Haze is definitely your best friend. So just keep an eye on the Dozo. Dozo is definitely going to be very, very annoying. Let's move on to the next one. So this this one, this one doesn't need much explanation. And the comp, honestly, a lot of the things can be countered by the same things. So this is why it's nice to just have them because it counters a lot of stuff. Torque and Nidical. You're going to be seeing these two a lot, most likely. And it's because if you guys don't know what these two, two son of a guns do, Torkoal and Lilligan come out. Torko sets up the sun. Lilligan abuses the sun because it gets boosted a speed it becomes super fast it gets like over 300 speed meaning it's very very hard to outspeed even with tailwind support unless yours is able to do it but it's it's very very difficult and then it just uses after you and if you don't know what after you does it just makes the target move after user so it'll use after you on torkoals torkoals very 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 slow so that's why after you is very very good because now litigan basically gives torko her speed and then Torko uses eruption, fire, terra fire, eruption, and blows up your team. So that's basically the, the whole thing with Torko. There's nothing else. If you see this, have White Guard. White Guard's your best friend, or have some sort of way to to get rid of weather. Because if you can, especially rain. If you have rain, just make sure not to bring rain in first. Bring it as a switch in. It's fine. Pelipper obviously is really really good into that. Or just have a manual setter, like maybe your Torque or Whimsicott has. No, I don't think Whimsicott can bring dance. I think Murkrow can. So if you have a way to set up with, through Prankster or Rain Dance, that's really good. Because then Torque will not do as much with Eruption and you'll be fine. And this also makes it so Chlorophyll uh, loses its effect because it's no longer in the sun and then it goes back to being 157 speed. I'm saying Adamant, but I'm pretty sure they're all going to be Jolly, so 172 speed, even even worse 344 speed yeah <laughs> yeah that's too fast but yeah that's basically the combo just get either use weather either use white guard white guard is probably going to be very very useful in your team so just just have white guard it, it, it's just seriously it helps you out 
There's other ways too, just have being resisted all the, uh, as well. Dealing with it like that, safety goggles, Incineroar is really good into it, so you can do that as well. Alright, so let's go with the last and final one in this in this video. Uh, Palafin and Weezing. Now, this is a really interesting combo and the reason why this works is because neutralizing, if you don't know what neutralizing gas does, neutralizing gas basically makes it so no ability works on the, on the field except for some exceptions. So some of the exceptions are Spectrier, uh, Calyrex, I mean, well not just Spectrier, but Calyrex um, Shadow Rider and Calyrex Ice Rider. As one doesn't get affected by neutralizing gas, so you can have Weezing with, with Calyrex. That's what some people used to do that. But it also doesn't affect zero to hero, which is really really nice because that um, that means that wheezing here will be affecting the, the, the all the field except for Palafin. Palafin can switch out and then come back in its in its super form, right? Its super attack form, and be fine. And then you just have this wheezing that's really really annoying. So when Palafin comes in, it can just be really really annoying and be really strong. So these two, very really nice combo as well. Very, very strong. Palafin is going to be very strong in this meta, so I would be very, very careful with Palafin. But yeah, these two, not not much to explain here. <laughs> really, the only thing you can do against this is like burn it um, or just put up the sun because this thing usually uses water moves. So putting up the sun is very, very strong against Palafin. Manual sun is probably really good. And just delete Weezing. Like, getting rid of Weezing is very, very good for you. If you can get rid of Weezing, then you're, you're pretty much solid. Because then you can deal with Palafin through like Rillaboom, through burning it, through a lot of stuff. But this is this one's just probably the most annoying one in my opinion. Because the other ones have more straightforward counters. This one's kind of difficult because it's just, it's like you have to delete Weezing. And if the person is really good, they know how to protect this Weezing. They know how, how much they can take before Weezing goes down. So just watch out for this, this combo. This combo specific is very dangerous and I would be very, very aware of it just make sure to have like a grass type because they usually carry water as their as their terra rillaboom is very strong so yeah that's pretty much it for palafin and weezing those, those are the top five most likely combos that are going to be really really strong in this meta game once ladder hits but if you guys want me to tell you some honorable mentions here and my brain is kind of not working right now because it's like it's about to be 3 a.m but I had to make this video because I didn't have, I wasn't gonna have time any any other time. Is if you want some honorable message, mention is mentions. See, I can't even speak. If you want some honorable mentions? Then Armor Rouge here. Armor Rouge. It's not just um, Armor Rouge. Better way we got Hatterene, and then we have Indidi. So what is this? Spam. Hi nice, spam. You gotta worry about this. Not this is the wrong Indy, by the way. We want the female one. Specifically this one. So yeah, if you don't know what this does, side spam. Yeah, you're gonna want like a dark type or if not a dark type, have white guard when you're facing this. Because all they're gonna do is the good old expanding force. They usually have heat wave as their other move. So if they do, great, because that means white guard will just be really good. But same thing with with Hattering, they might just have this. These these are spread moves, so White Guard is really really strong. But like I said, having us a, a nice Dark type is probably good. It's it's harder with Hattering though because the only good Dark type that can really work, well there's two, is Incineroar, Shocker, and King Gambit. So if you're watching, if you're against Hattering, I think White Guard is actually stronger. The other way that you can deal with it, and shout out to I think it was Kurt. It might have been Chuar as well. Like, shout out to to them. Or, I, I was typing in Kurt. Guys, it's 3 a.m. I'm sorry. Is Ferrigeref. And it's also not only a really good counter, but you can do something like this. You can do this. You can do Dazzling Gleam. You can do Imprison. And then you can do Trick Room. Now, what does this accomplish? You might be asking. Well, you don't know what Imprison does. Like I said, this video is for new, new new players coming into VGC, not not for more veteran players. Uh, so yeah, Imprison makes it so the other side of the field, as long as Ferriger F is alive, Imprison will lock these moves from being used if the other if the opposing Pokemon have it. So Indeed likes to carry Trick Room, it likes to carry Dazzle Team. Yeah, it's not gonna get to use it because 
you, you imprisoned it. You can't. It all, since it has Trick Room and Dazzling Gleam, it's not gonna get to use it. But not only that, so will um, Hatterene. Hatterene won't be able to touch you like at all. Like it, it forces him to swap. Like Hatterene just has to swap because there's nothing it can do. It's stuck there. It literally just it's just watching as its teammates get blown up. So that's really like the strong. If you want a really strong counter to side spam, if you just absolutely hate side spam, this is the move set for you. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, just having Ferrigeref is really strong because of its ability, Armor Tail, which makes it so priority moves don't work on your side of the field, like Fake Out, Grassy Glide, when Rillaboom is in Grassy Surge, stuff like that. So, this is actually very strong, but not only do you have to, it's very nice to have Ferrigeref, but you also have to watch out for it because there's a big boy that's going to be very strong, and that's Ursa Luna Blood Moon. And we already know what this thing does, unless you're new. And it's just going to Hyper Voice you, it's just going to Earth Power. It's going to send you to Jesus with... Send you to Jesus, more like send you to Arceus with Blood Moon. And then they just carry Life Orb and they just carry Normal Ground. And then they just do a lot of damage. So these two are going to be very scary as well. So be very careful. White Guard is very nice into it. Having some sort of way to deal with her Salunas, like a fighting type, is very good into it. You're gonna want some ways to deal with Ursaluna as well. So these are some honorable mentions. Oh, I'm sorry guys, I'm I'm so tired. I hope you guys can forgive me, but yeah, this is pretty much all there is. Yeah, Trick Room is going to be very, very scary in this in this regulation. If you guys notice that a lot of the a lot of the mons in the honorary mention are just trick room mons, but yeah, everything else, just be very, very careful about these combos. These are the top five combos in my personal opinion that you should watch out for. And yeah, if you guys found this, you know, helpful in any way, make sure to uh, subscribe, like, leave a comment on what you guys think, what you guys will find very threatening in this meta. If you guys can think of any other combos that are, that's very, very strong, I would greatly appreciate it. Like I said, it's 3 a.m. guys, so the video wasn't the greatest, but I did, I really don't have time right now with school and everything. So I had to, I had to do it right now because uh, I wouldn't have time otherwise. But anyways, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I'm so tired, guys.